Welcome to the patio. When I was 10, no, I didn't see the wrong kind of wish that I would see my grew up. Thought I was living in my head, figured the life that I was living, I'd be better off dead. I watched the winners together. Welcome to the patio. It's Big T here. And um, look, we record these on weekends. We always do a drop on Tuesday. So, uh, Fort Berry. How was your week? Uh, it was long. Uh, like, like I said, uh, is there a short such thing as a short week? Yeah, last, like the short last bus. week was a short. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, last well, week was a short week. I don't know. Last week seemed long too. You had family at your house. I had family at my house. Yeah, like, we actually interacted. We like two worlds collided there for a little while. We but, did. Yeah, but 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 really, is uh, there such thing as a short week? Nah, it's been hectic. Uh, work's work's going crazy. I'm ready for this thing to take off so I can just quit. Yeah, y'all got to listen, like us, send us some money. Hell, you can send us some money. Let's do a GoFundMe because I know y'all love to hear me talk. And you got to love these other guys too. Gary, Gary, what's going on with you, Gary? How was your week? It was okay. What are y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you okay, homeless, nice. jobless? I'm homeless. Uh, I'm trying to grow up my beard and be like Jamie. I love it. I love the beard. I thought you were growing out the beard for the uh, concert we're going to. Both, right? both. I-, I like it, man. That's both. that's. that's where it's at. I'm all about supporting my fellow man. Yep. But I, me. I'm trying to some, grow some facial hair, but yeah. it's more of a, a, a full man. Look, we're, we're working on that. Um, oh, what was that world record with the beers, beards uh, tied, thing, together. tied together? Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't think that's going to work. We need to rely on our other guy over here, DW. We're in trouble. Nice. DW, how was your week, though? My week's been good. It's been the best work week I've had in a long the time. Best I, work week. What you been to, doing? I got to shoot at stuff, got to drive fast. And that's just getting it uh, going through Memphis, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> oh, I've got a story to tell you guys. I meant to tell you when we were drunk Thursday. So I was on international assignment this week. It's top secret mission. But anyways, right. my week was good, Jamie. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm glad. I was I was out of the country, okay, for a couple of days. Uh, left on Monday morning. I actually, came back on Tuesday. It was like a whirlwind trip. But here's the this was the funny part. I wanted to tell you guys. So it was uh, Tuesday evening. I uh, came in from Toronto, landed in Atlanta, catching the flight to Memphis. Well, the weather was terrible. Now you just said it was top secret, and you just told everything. Yeah, but they don't know what I was doing. Oh, okay. There. Okay, so, yeah. Um, but He's trying that for the Raptors. That's normally a 40-minute flight. It was about he's, three and a half, He's like the hours. biggest spy ever. <laughs> biggest spy. <laughs> he tried, they'd never. They'd never. He they, tried out as the so Raptors. inconspicuous. Yeah. Inconspicuous. <laughs> Look, like sometimes the, you got to be out in front to hide behind. He's an overt. On. He's overt spy. <laughs> exactly. He's so out in the open mm-hmm. like nobody. Y'all have no idea. But anyway, we, 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 this flight takes about three hours. And look, kudos out to Delta Airlines, the pilot we had that night. He was like really shared way too much information. He gave us great information about the flight, how long it's going to take, that, hey, we're going to get you home safely. Okay, great. But we landed in Memphis. And, you know, after a big man like me been sitting for a while, I got to stand up. I'm the guy that stands up in the aisle waiting for the doors to open. But I overhear yeah. a conversation. In front of me, in the seat in front of me, is a guy from Boston and a guy from Arkansas. It's an older fella. He's probably about 60. He's sitting there. And I hear the guy from Boston in a strange accent go, uh, <laughs> so you guys got a new governor over there in Arkansas. He said, yeah, uh, you know, Sarah Huckabee. And he says, is she retarded? <laughs> he says, "These are his real words." These said, "I'm not making." Well, he was from Boston. He was Boston. He uh, said, he said is, "Is she is she retired? Is she retired? Is retired? Yeah, yeah that's she got that float." Because uh, you know the, the, the have, country's been really the country's really been on her, and she seems slow. Is she retired? And I'm like, "Are you freaking <laughs> kidding me?" He said, "Does she lose her khakis once a week?" Yeah, but but it was just one of those things that you did, overhear. Did, 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 just like, did he say, is she wicked, retarded? <laughs> well, look, the guy it's said, insane, look, dude. I don't think the fella understood the conversation because he just goes, you know, she's got a lot of good things she's trying to do. And uh, I think we just got to give her time to get them put in. I'm like, you two are having a totally <laughs> different conversation with each other than you think you are. But he did. He called her retarded. And then it takes us to actually where this whole damn thing is headed, this whole conversation. It's about how the media is controlling everything. And I, I believe, I believe 
I believe that's going to come to an end. Yeah, okay, that, but, that's stupid. So, so, but so, you're, yeah. So the media has projected this lady. And so then they go, well, these people at Arkansas voted for someone who's retarded. When in reality, you know, maybe we're looking at this Fetterman crap. Are you sure he didn't say retired? No, he said retarded. <laughs> She because said, I looked at him, because this other dude, I don't think he heard the words he said, because I did. I was like, did he really now, now, Fetterman, no. But he is disabled. He's disabled. He is disabled. But I, he had issues before that. Yeah. You know, he's never held a, uh, he's never held an actual job. He lives with, he didn't live with his parents. No. For a U.S. Time. senator player? He's, no. The, he is a, he's got a, a, he's he, a government job. All he he got a government job. Yes. That's my goal in life. But, but look, media is controlling the narrative on everything. Yeah, we hit uh, a milestone this week. We've topped 30 episodes. Today that we're recording this is exactly three months since our initial drop. <laughs> we have uh, 2,500 plus downloads. I believe we can hit 3,000 by Christmas. Look. We decided that like 90 days would be the mark that we would like take to get our uh, feet wet. And then we would really start pushing this thing. So y'all get ready. You're going to see us everywhere. We're live. You're going to get tired of us. You're going to get tired of us. That's going to be the goal. Jamie is now turned loose on tw- he, no TikTok. I'm sorry. You're the, yeah, you, you know what? Are you a Chinese operative? He may be. I am. I'm like, a, I'm like a Sorwell or whatever his name is. The, uh, the California Senator. So you're a Chinese. Still, you love TikTok. He is the TikTok. Dude. Now, I, look, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm getting tired of dealing with it, but I get a lot of good information from uh, TikTok. Until, but is it? Well, I mean, the article we read about the New York Times uh, came from there. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. I mean, that's the first place we got the uh, missile that landed in uh, Poland. I think TikTok and the news should all be taken, you know, all with a grain of salt. Oh, everything, yeah, everything, everything should be, be taken with a grain of salt. Okay, everything, but then things start to align, and then you make your own decision if it's real or not. So a lot of times I'll see something on TikTok that'll pique my interest because I've, I've, I've run through it to look for stuff for the show. You got millions probably of people on TikTok, right? I mean, millions of people. And these people are spread out all over the place. So they're getting news from yeah, people, mul- like so many different sources, you know. And people are doing live live video feeds of of actual news. Yeah, so I mean, you're there's definitely legitimate news and there legitimate is. things on there that people claim are false. Yes, <laughs> but you should always question any you information should. that's being provided to you, yeah, regardless I mean, if it's Fox News or Twitter or, or, or TikTok Life on the Patio or Life on the Patio. Especially, question us. Yeah, we're not real smart. Yeah, especially us. We're not that but, one. But we do we question a lot of things. We question. Okay, so um, as of right now, and I may cut this and drop it at individual. Oh, yeah. drop. I didn't know it's on Bluetooth. Uh, Elon Musk revealed the decision to suppress the Hunter Biden laptop story was made at the highest levels of the company, but did not include CEO Jack Dorsey. So he's clear and clean, huh? Well, is that is that just a patting your buddy's well, back? That, well, but would look, it be clear and clean? Would be more than a. Mr. Young Man Biden. I think he, he, you know, he's probably not clean. He ain't clean. You know, it's funny. I was looking at Twitter here after this announcement was made that, hey, at 4, four Central Time, that's our time, we were going to re- release it. But they um, they pushed it off a little while. And reading through the comments, the thing is, people are saying, and you know who's left and who's right. You can tell, right? Yeah. They said, so um, Hunter Biden's never held office. Okay, true. Makes sense. Check. He held okay. a crack. He's held a So crack why pipe. does this matter? But we all know why it matters because he has ties right back to the big guy. The this, big guy. Do you, so is Donald Trump the big guy when Hunter Biden's talking about it? Well, okay. So they they withheld the they withheld the story, and seventeen percent of voters said that they would have voted a different direction. That manipulated an entire election. It did. So it, when you well, have a record turnout. It really turnout, did because 17% did. That's would, a have, lot. would have been a difference maker. Probably, well, right? but you had a record turnout for the loser and a record turnout for the winner. Yeah. yeah. And if 17%, that's a landslide if victory. If 17% stayed the, home. Ex- and I'm not saying I want to stay home, but if 17% wasn't there, that's a huge difference. Because you're right. Because sometimes when your candidate isn't who you think it is, you don't necessarily vote for the other guy. You decide to stay Yeah. Home. I mean – how many uh, principals or or you know law enforcement officers were lost their job because of their kids doing something like this? Oh, yeah. Okay, so why not the president? I mean, or or the president uh, candidate, presidential candidate. You know, that's 
things like that affect uh hey, you know i think they learned a valuable lesson in the um 2016 election and what was that that trump's more of a force uh than they realized and uh you know i think they i think they thought that they was gonna roll over <laughs> and now they realize they had to and i'm not gonna say i'm not saying the election was stolen but I'll say, uh, yeah, don't do that. We'll be kicked off. Yeah, don't but information. Was- well, I, I think it was withheld from uh, some so- some major news sources. Not not all. How major about news. all news sources? I don't know because Fox News was all was all about it. Yeah, but the problem is when you but, done. But the problem is, so do you, you have? Hold on, let's ask Gary a question. Gary's no. probably the most right wing of us all. <clears throat> I am. Do you believe that if this was released in October of 2020? that it would have an, had an impact on the November 2020 election. Yes, it would have. I think Fort Berry, do you think it would Yeah, start? absolutely. D.W.? Yeah, I think it's undeniable. I mean, yeah. okay, something, so something like this. In 2016, Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton in what was probably the most surprise election anyone can remember. Yeah. Probably ever. Right? Mm-hmm. And for four years, all we heard is that Russian collusion and the Russian misinformation. Yeah, that's why Trump won. And that election was, was stolen. He won. And not that. And it was completely acceptable. No. Not that they hacked. It. Not that they hacked the voter, <clears throat> the, the voting machines, but that their misinformation on Facebook, on Twitter. So then, you know, they, they figured out, hey, we have to suppress this. I, and I, I got a question. So all these people that labeled. The Hunter Biden laptop has misinformation and took whatever because it was considered misinformation. Now we know it's not misinformation. Are those people who called it misinformation now misinformers and they should be banned from? Heck yeah. No. I like it. What what happens to them? Should they Call be? on something misinformation well, well, when it was not misinformation? Right, I like, what? Listen to the narrative right now. Elon Musk, who I labeled a supervillain, may not be anymore. He may be the biggest champion of free speech. He's that we've Batman. Ever seen. Well, you know, on what Gary is saying, though, is. Once you say it, you can't unring that bell. So once they withhold the information, now they can come back and say, "Our Russia, the Russian, uh, Russia Gator, whatever the hell they call it." How many times they print incorrect information, then they bury the uh, retraction on page seventeen. All right. You only have a few companies really controlling most of the information. Apple, and we're going to get into that shortly. Okay. Well, one of the problems and that I, they have, I'm a big Apple fan. But, well, I, mean, I, think uh, I don't Apple. like what they're doing. But one of the problems too is, I think. And, but one of the problems is now is if ABC, NBC, CBS, or if any of them have something, one side is going to automatically believe the other side is going to automatically doubt it. That's true. So a left-leaning uh, a Democrat can call and say, if y'all run this story, I will not uh, sit down with y'all. The same goes for the for Fox News. But if you control Twitter, Apple, and Facebook, you are controlling you control the, world. the narrative. You control the world. That's why it's more than a public, uh, or that's why it's more than a private company. And add Google in there. Okay, add Google. Yeah. Because well, I, I'm an Apple guy. Same. So can, can we all agree that the, uh, not the government controls America, but the news? I got a story that's going to blow your mind. You probably heard it already because Louder with Crowder, we listen to him. I'm going to give him credit for this story. This was, he said it was probably 2011. He talked about it this morning. Did you hear this story? I don't know. Tell me not alone. All right. So in 2011. Read his mind, Jamie. <laughs> hold on. In 2011, he was on Twitter. And Twitter approached him about doing ads. They've approached oh, us yeah, about yes. doing that. You heard this, right? Listen so, this. yeah, listen, it'll blow your mind. So Twitter approached him and said, we think that your business would gain from doing ads. And they said, we need a couple of tweets that we're going to put out. Well, they gener- And he said, okay, let's do this. So he paid them. And they generated their own tweets. One of them was, no, uh, left-wing hate, then support Lado or Crowder. Then he got banned. So they generated their own tweets and then banned him for the tweets that they generated that he paid for. And they said it was hate speech. So he then approached them. But they made them? They yes. made they them. Made them. <laughs> they made they, them. They created the ad. They uh, created the ad. So then he approached them and said, hey, you know, you banned me, but uh, I didn't do this. You did. So they let him back in but said, you can no longer do ads. He said, I didn't do the ads to begin with. <laughs> Y'all approached, he does what he said, y'all approached me by the ads. I didn't yeah. approach you. And he didn't even write the tweet. So a matter of fact, to, when he saw the tweet, he told him, take it down. Right now, we need to queue up the Boston guy and have him ask that question again. You know, I'm a, I got to say, uh, maybe I've got a different view of Elon. He may be the champion of free speech that we all needed. Because what's, what occurred over the last, probably since 26, is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. 
And never at a time in our history has someone controlled the narrative like those individuals that I just said. And we're about to get into a couple of those right now. So get into them. What do you know about apple? What's going on with apple? It's a delicious fruit. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. You know, I, do, there was, I, do, I do know uh, Forrest Gump bought Yeah, but which there. kind of apples do you like? Man, I like the... Uh, <clears throat> What's what some of these called? Oh, I, I threw you a curveball, didn't I? I like Golden Delicious apples. They're golden my favorite. Delicious? Not I also like Fuji apples. Fuji, Fuji, that's the one I was looking for, Fuji. Fuji is one of the greatest inventions known. I, 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 one I day like I the Fuji, Fuji apples. It, and they're it's, expensive it's, as hell. One day, a I didn't realize, yeah. one day I want to go to they're Fiji. Sm- they're small. Fuji. Oh, and you can't have money when have you have y'all, Fuji. Uh, have, y'all ever had a, have you ever had a grapple? Or I've heard about it. I've heard about it. So it's like it's a hybrid apple that tastes similar to a grape. Hey, have you ever had a Those Snapple? Awesome. I have. <laughs> yeah, and I, I could say I've had hey, one. A completely uh, different uh, subject. You know, uh, bana- bananas are technically berries. So, <laughs> wait a minute. What did you just say? <laughs> bananas are technically berries. So, stupid. what do you know about what's going on with Apple? What have you guys heard? Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the control of information. What's going on? I know. I do know this. Apple is uh, threatening to uh, remove Twitter from the um, App Store. Until Elon showed up and said, no, we never said that. Yeah, uh, you know. You know why they said that? But because you know, Elon would build a phone tied to a car, tied to a, a satellite. That, yeah, that, it, yeah. He would circumvent the entire. We would all be system. using a Musk phone in in. Yeah, and look, his satellites. We would. Yeah, so that's one item. Has anybody heard anything else about what Apple did? Isn't it impressive uh, that you have so much money? That like if <laughs> if a company like Apple makes you mad enough, you're like, all right, cool. I'm just gonna make my own phone, my own cellular network, all these different. Right, things. It's not even about money to me. It's his confidence, Dude. his intelligence, and he has that much faith in himself. Well, so and smart. I hope that my child, I know that can come across wrong, but I hope that he develops that confidence because I have similar confidence. I hope my child develops a bank account. Well, confidence. <laughs> I ain't worried about the bank or about the economy. <laughs> but but have you, have you guys heard anything else about Apple? I, I've heard. I have heard that uh, all publishers of apps, if someone buys something from that app, Apple takes thirty percent of those profits, regardless of whatever it is. So therefore, it suppresses app makers or start coming up producers of apps or whatever. Keep, keep from, I was really leaning from, more toward from from G- actually doing apps geopolitical impact that Apple currently. So Apple, so there there's some uprisings going on in China. Apple's a monopoly. I don't I don't know anything about Good. recent Apple news. So <laughs> there are They're some delicious. uprisings going on like in apples. two places in the globe: Calm. Iran and China. Those are two of the most. Um, what do yeah, you right it? now it's a, not uh, downtrodden is not the word I'm looking for, but they're the most volatile, volatile awesome. regions. American friendly. Iran and China, yeah, both love America. Yes. They love Joe Biden. Okay, they love both of Joe Biden. Yeah, they love Biden. and Biden loves them back. In yeah. China, so in Iran, the president and the Apple and everybody, they're the like, Apple. "Oh, let's let's support the uprising." But when uprising occurred in China, a couple of things occurred. One is with cellular service, things are locked down there, right? You were really limited on what you can, how you communicate with people. So Apple turned off AirDrop because AirDrop was the only way people. could communicate that's randomly. how the protesters yep. they turned off airdrop not only that there were some photographs of some uh how is that not supporting communism it is supporting communism but guess what else is supporting What's the that? people that provide all of your phones because they actually went into those they had the covid restrictions going mm-hmm. on, right mm-hmm. and they have this site that builds iphones it, it really is ridiculous to think this occurs today but it is the case i'm going to get off on a tangent but The Foxconn site that builds our iPhones, the suicide rate is astronomical. It's ridiculous. They jump off the building. If you go out there, there's like nets hanging off the side of the building to keep people from killing themselves because they work there, they live there, and that's all their life is, is making our iPhone. You know, when you look at this iPhone I have in my hand, you think that surely robots are building that. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're damn near robots. And they are, but. So is each Apple that, that, phone I mean, made by like a person by hand? It is. I mean, every a, a component shot. is built, is put in this gosh dang phone by hand, and isn't it's that, on a similar line. Isn't that, isn't that pretty crazy? impressive, though? Oh, sure, That's it's impressive. impressive. But yeah. how, would you not want to jump no, off I mean, the building I mean, if like, all you did all day was put the camera in an iPhone? Depends on what you're paying me. Oh, oh, no, there. But you can't <laughs> leave the. Building. How about how about I mean, a few yen an hour? Yeah, you can't leave the building. Yeah, so we're talking about China. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it is it is pretty impressive that. 
those are like hand things in the world oh, it's, anymore it's that, highly are, that impre- are hand made. It's highly impressive, but the hypocrisy of our uh, Democrats in general. Exactly. Or, so are y'all going to switch to Androids? Oh, Lord. No, no. Android is the same Apple. thing. Apple works. I mean, but, the technology I'm going back solid. to, I'm getting Nokia, man. Yeah. The, the technology phone. is I mean, solid, and Chinese. the technology is developed here, but the problem is <laughs> that it's built nothing. on slave labor. So, Elon, go build, make us a phone that's made in the U.S. I'll but but, let, but let, let's get back to China. Okay, so yeah. nobody's going to step in because the NBA is in bed with them. The United States government's in bed with them. Not not Enos Cantor, though, or whatever. No, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. God bless him. He's yeah. the only person. Yeah. China buy. is the manufacturer for the U.S. The, the country, is, and I heard that the other day that made the most sense. The NBA will not turn on China. No. No, they will not. Technology will not turn on China. China, look, TikTok, your favorite app is if you read the the bylines, Joe Rogan, go go check out Joe Rogan. He He read them actually word for word. They basically have access to your bank accounts, whether you know it or not. Oh, they There's do. nothing in them, but you know, they no, got nothing it. Nothing bothers me about yeah. that anymore because everybody's got access well, to gonna, them now. Well, what I mean. they going to steal, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Can't they, 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 can't steal, they steal my shit, their credit score. So right. All I know, if, your show, if it shows up in your account, then you really are like that guy out in California. Here's, been, here's the advantage we have, okay? So, like, we're dependent on China, right? Yeah. For certain things. But they're also dependent on us. Mm-hmm. For what? Lots of things. Where there's market, lots. Where their marketplace? Yeah, no, I mean, where the marketplace were also uh, the raw goods. Yes, there's many things we send there that they can't do what they do. Well, we we send first. shit well, there we for them to build. We can't. We're not oil exporters to them. You know? No, but uh, like so, uh, I've, the factories I've built uh, for Chinese. Uh, yeah, we could shut their crap down just like they shut our. So I see what, for example, in Which Muscle actually, Shows, Alabama, I did a Nissan plant in Muscle Shows, Alabama. They take parts. They put them. They uh, take all these parts. They ship them to. Uh, it's one of the reason vehicles vehicles are so expensive. They ship them overseas. They assemble them. They ship them back here. Then they assemble the rest of it here. I mean, all these are parts that uh, go entertain interchangeable, and that happens between here, Mexico, Canada, uh, China, Taiwan. They're all doing it. So how this. much how much land do y'all think that the United States owns in China? Or, or let's flip it the other way. How yeah, much does China own that's in the U.S.? What I, that's I just what I was going to say. Yeah, how much does China own in the okay. U.S.? Because Hudson right. gave away half of fucking you, Arkansas. We already know U.S. is so, in debt to China. We already so that's, this out. that's where I was headed. What do you yeah. get? Take a guess. Take a wild guess. How, how much does China own U, uh, U.S. Oh, territory? Man, hundreds of thousands of acres. So 40% of U.S. land is farmland. Okay, so that tells you there's plenty, there's lots of room, right? So 40% is farmland. Of that, think about that. So if you took the country and just like probably the panhandle, yeah, back east, that's probably about 60%. So, so everything west of it. 40% is farmland. How much is a, a national reserve? China owns 3% of that. And Bill Gates owns 27 So China basically <laughs> owns probably like California, Arizona, something like that. Think about that for a minute. And that's farmland they own. They've bought it. They own it. And back to Donnie's question, uh, we own 0% of China. I'm, I was looking it up now. I, um, so, yeah. so how does so China this says, buy land in the U.S.? We sell it. We sell it. Yeah, we sell it to them. Because so the government won't. sells it to them. So this is just. Right? They, 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 they're they using government money to buy our property. So, Gary, I'm going to ask you to, to I'm going to give you 150% <laughs> of what the going rate is for your house. What are you going to do? According to the USDA thing here, USDA. Um, this is like cotton.senate.gov. Um, Chinese investors. Oh, thank you, Apple. Um, Apple's listening to us. So Shit. In two, shut it down. In 2020, it just went off. It's not recording anymore. Shut, shut oh, down the patio. This is just on the agriculture side, but there's 352, one, 352,140 acres is what China old owns. Is according to the USDA. So what are they doing with it? In agriculture land. They're buying land. Holding it. I mean, land's power, dude. It is. Okay, so are they allowed to then... You you remember a story I told you guys a while back about the uh, Chinese uh, police stations that they put up in these locations? Yeah. Uh, they put them in Europe. They Actually, all throughout Europe. Nigeria. They just, in a, a Chinese community, they put a police station. Are they like embassies? No, they're a police station. An unapproved police station that they send police for. And when someone doesn't follow the rules the or laws, laws or... then they intervene. Is it sort of like uh so like, like those companies buying buying and putting up all those uh traffic cams? 
did you hear about that? Like, there's certain companies that just put up, you know, the red light cams. Well, I mean, if that, we allow you to own um, something, you should. Yeah, they'll, they'll, there's a there's companies that put up red light cameras. You know, when you run a red light, they'll send you a bill saying, "Hey, you broke this law." They they have permission from the city, but they're but they not, don't have the right to enforce the law. They don't people, have the right to enforce the law. People people pay them, but people yeah. pay them to so do it's, that. You so know what? It's genius, is what it is. I'm gonna put that over. Technically, here. what it is is it's theft by deception. It is. Yes. It really is. <laughs> That's from what, a from a legality standpoint. So whenever you get a red light camera, what they don't know whatever, is, is I don't pay them either. That's right, James. Screw them folks. Catch me, catch me in Florida for running the toll. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I ran, I ran some. Toll. I ran some of you Texas. Know, I was in. Uh, uh, I was in a rental car and ran a toll in Maine one time. It's like one a.m. in the morning. There's like fourteen bays. I picked the one nobody's in. Yeah, and this dude just, said, I'll just go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Screw it. They took a I picture. Said, of you right. did they? I never got charged. It was like oh. seventy five cents. Oh man! Look, I was driving through uh, Oklahoma, and uh, there's there's tow roads all over Oklahoma, and uh, I pulled up, and I didn't realize on a tow road. I just lady waved me down, so I stopped. Uh, she said sixty seven cents or whatever. I said, lady waved you down. Well, she was in a little. She's a little. Yeah, she's in her booth. But uh, I, was, I handed my car. She said, "Honey, we can't take a car." I was like, that's all I got. <laughs> You go, you go I, swap well, she 67 said, ah, go ahead. No, I scrounged up like 47 cents. She said that'll work. She had the rest. She was yeah. like, all right, I got <laughs> yeah. you. I got you, dude. All right, so we talked about Apple. We talked about Foxconn. They're the people doing it. But look, let's talk about something else for a minute. Well, something we talked about in an earlier drop. We talked about Balenciaga. Until that day, Donnie's the only one of us that even had heard of the Balenciaga. But there's an article that came out in the, in the New York Times. Let me read it here. Ever since Demna, which I guess is the uh, the guy that created Balenciaga, became artistic director of Balenciaga in 2015, the storied brand has become a lightning rod for controversy, often intentionally. Um, they uh, are credited with remaking IKEA's 99 cent shopping bag as a luxury good. Oh, really? They have a 99 cent IKEA bag. Yeah, let me see what else this says down here. Look, the clothes I saw from Balenciaga were ugly as shit. Except for them shoes. Oh. Them shoes are ugly. They are ugly. You look like they'd probably look better if they were cheaper. You know what the shoes look like? like? You remember the ones, the shoes they sold back in the uh, late nineties that had like the big, huge platform on the on the toe? They were supposed to build your calf muscles. Oh, oh yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, the, yeah. The shoes look like those. Donnie had some of those. Those work. They the did. Way. They'll make it jump. They will. Jamie never wore them. <laughs> he got no calf. <laughs> he got no calf. He, he I, can't I could dunk back in the day, man. It's been Jamie, a long time ago. Jamie still has not competed with the, the youth of America. Yet. I haven't. Our, our 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 buddy Marty wore them all the time. His calves are insane. Yeah, he got some cows. He grow. All right, there's no substance can't to this. Jump, I thought I found the article, calves. but there's nothing there. Anyway, what what? Well, it does say when high fashion and Q and on collide because the New York Times is saying that there's nothing wrong with this ad. We told you about that. If you if yeah. you don't know, go about and look. It's a kid. With a lot of BSDM, BDM, BDSM uh, <laughs> stuff. Um, and you will not, when you look at the ad, you will not question what the motive of the ad is. But they blame that on, what was it, Fortenberry? You had it. It was Trump's oh, tr it, right it, it, wing, Trump all, supporter, yeah, all, QAnon. Yeah, all that shit. I mean, alt-right. They're, they're saying basically all right, if you're offended right. by this, it's all you're alt-right, you're QAnon, you're, you're hardcore uh, Republican. And that, and that's what they do is they they label you as crazy or extremist if you have a view that goes against what they think. That's because they have to go one up on you. So so they make well, you an extremist on whatever you say is okay. This is wrong. What you're doing is evil. They're going to one up you and say you're crazy. You're you're racist. You're you're look, I, you're bigoted. You're listen, all this. They're going to say out words. That, words. That is one of the signs of an abusive relationship. Is when yeah. the uh, abuser tells you you're crazy correct i mean that, that's what it is it, it's like you're crazy you're making no it sense. is it's psychological games it uh, is when they uh, the things that seem sane they try to convince you they're not Jamie. Sane. it's gas <laughs> all right I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward here i got a couple just quick takes a couple because these are kind of odd but oh, yeah, Nick, we've been missing quick takes we haven't done we have. so let's talk about some new stuff this one's strange okay a couple parents in new zealand have uh they refuse life-saving surgery for their four-month-old child because they cannot confirm that the uh, blood donor 
is uh, th- here it is. Parents refuse four month old life saving surgery if donor blood tainted by vaccination. So this child is going to potentially die from a, a heart. The 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 government should step in. I I wouldn't say that. I want government. Can. So you should you should allow four month old to die because you're worried about the b- blood being va- being vaccinated. It's- here, here's here's where I'm gonna. Uh, I, I, all right, this is, gonna this is this right. is exactly here, here why it here, made it on my list. Here right we go. Here. This is exactly. I do not want the government stepping in on anything. Okay. I, I don't. I want my freedom. You okay. T- you you give them that right to do. So that your freedom is to let the child but die. This isn't your freedom. It's the child's freedom. Okay, I understand that, but but it's the same <laughs> government that is pro-choice that kills sixty million babies. I think right, so read a- the headline one more time. Or whatever, because I was texting. I'm sorry. I, I don't. Parents refuse four month old's life saving surgery if donor's blood tainted by vaccination. Okay, so this. Okay, this, that, this is like sticky. It is right. It is. That's why I brought. So it look, up. I don't care what your blood's tainted with. I'm gonna take a chance at like saving my kids. Me right? too. Me too. Yeah, so what's your priorities? But, what's the priority? But. God, that's just crazy. Like I'm trying to defend it, <laughs> but you can't. You, you can't. But you cannot give government the choice. You cannot give them that power. I mean, I agree that that like, I would do anything to save my child, regardless no, no. if it's a vaccine or not. What? What if it? What if it was my child? What if I refuse to give a little bit a surgery? But c- then because, we would bring you in here and talk to you. Because we you want to what, what, what talk to you, what, what nah, talk to me didn't matter. You would have more than getting a talk. All, all right, to. so you want to get more. you want to give the government to tell you what your no, child no, should no, have? I, no, I don't. But I don't want parents to be able to kill their children either. Okay, no. hold on a second. But how so, can you be pro life and then be four months right, old? I'm going to ask, ask you another question then. Okay, so suppose you know, c- common uh, the the government said the vaccine will save your life. You didn't give your child the vaccine, so why? Yeah, but should we go after you? Man, I okay, picked a but, bad time to answer a text because Gary's you fired up. I'm fired okay, up. Hold on. So hold on. you're like killing it. your child because you didn't give your child a vaccine. You're killing your child because you don't let him have surgery. Exactly. Exactly. So, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, but the <laughs> yeah, vaccine, yeah, vaccine, vaccine, you didn't give your child a vaccine, so you're killing her. All right, Gary, let me step in. My boy, hold on. But, hold, on. hold on. Do hold on. you believe? Hold on. Let me ask one question, John, before you go. I just got to believe? Do you believe your vaccine kills people? Do I do I believe it's killing people? No. Do I think it's creating health issues? Yes. Do you think the surgery will save a life? Do do I know the surgery will save? Yes. 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 I'm assuming yes. Yeah. I don't see how you can uh, deny the surgery. I thought you were on the deny side. But isn't it a is it? No, I'm for the surgery. Oh. Gary's on the deny. Yeah, Gary's, Gary's the on surgery. the deny. I, I'm not saying don't do the surgery. I'm saying do the surgery. I would do it for my child regardless. No, of but the you're saying you. Like you you're saying no, you. but he's arguing yes. for the parents' I, rights. I'm, a, I'm arguing for our liberties. He's arguing, arguing for the parents' rights. The government. What about the liberties of the child? All right, so I'm going to say you give up this liberty and you let the government step in. I, I get it. You're going to give up it. all your other I freedoms. I get it. James. What about the liberty of the child, though? The child. You give up the, li- the liberties of the child. All right, so you you're going to save that one child. I, I want to save that one child, but you may kill thousands more. How? 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 So <laughs> now right, you're, you gi- explain you're, gi- you're giving the government no, I know what choice. you're saying. I get what you're saying. You're giving the government a choice who and when people will get surgery. Okay, so. They already have that choice. Okay, but hold on. No, let's, they do not. Yes, let's they take do. It, let's take it a step Not yet, further. they don't. Yeah, they do. Let, let's assume that the parent decides not to have the surgery. Should they be, should they be trialed for murder? No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. So is the surgery a hundred percent going to save the child? Sounds like it. So let me let me let me. If you if you could charge a parent with a the kid should you sell the firearm. Now why can't you charge? Now I this? again I'm going to state I do not agree with the parent's decision. You're a monster. I'm, I got to get the story straight because I was saying, so basically there was a kid needed surgery. But. No, so the 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 child needed heart surgery. Okay. So, and in order to do that, they needed to, a blood transfusion. Okay. Transfusion. But the parents said they only want blood not tainted by vaccination. So they only want blood for if, unvaccinated. Like so here's the number one question. Do they even track that? No. no that's the I problem. mean, when you get when you start getting blood, like you're old, you know, you're old positive, old negative. And how many people are actually there that could even get blood? I mean, so, they can't get blood from a, a wombat or something. But I thought it was very important discussion because it, it goes on right, because it's about uh, two things. So, parental rights, it's civil liberties, 
and it's about the government. I think you have the right to make that decision for your child. Because, and what happens if the child dies? They can't make those decisions on their own, right? I don't think you would be in a situation where you would be, where you would be criminally liable for that situation. So, so what ha- what happens if I what happens if I choose not to feed my child? That's that's not the same thing. Why is it oh, not? It is. No, because yes, that, it is. No, it's, no, not. it's not the oh, same. You're not. Thing. Yes, okay. it is. So you the, the you do this were, thing right. where you jump to an extreme. Right. It's not. It the, is an extreme. No, it's because, not the same. It's not the same. Why? What if because you got to apply it to something else that's medical. What if you, so what if your child needs a, you got a child, they're bad, you, they need a certain type of surgery, and they say your child has a 10% treatment. chance to live. Let's say they have leukemia. And then, yeah, yeah and you decide, Le- well, we don't want to move forward with that because we don't want to put her through all that if there's only a 10, 10% chance survival rate. I don't think right. there's the Let same as finish. a 10% chance. Uh, they're not, but it's still a parent's choice because by law, that person's not old enough to decide what they want to do. Right. Right? I'm gonna. Anger I'm not you guys saying further. it's. I'm not right. saying it's think, right or wrong. Like holding food that would be the, would be. It's not the. Category. It's yes. not the Hold same. Hold on a second. I got something else. It's not the same thing. So you're taking a healthy kid, and then you're denying it food and killing it. That's yes, a completely that's, different. You're taking, you're taking a kid that denied surgery and killing it. No, but they're not healthy. They're not they need healthy. surgery. Right, let me add <laughs> something to it to add complications. That's like I'm gonna beat the out of my kid. That's basically what you're saying about a night at food. It's, it's abuse and neglect. By doing this. You could argue. I think the court could argue. Let me add this other. Now, I would never deny my kids something. And, 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 as a result, New England's health agency has taken the parents to court, hoping the guardianship of the sixth child will be transferred to the courts so that the baby can receive the needed cert. Now, I, I do agree that's probably the best way to do it is take it to court, but the government to step in and do whatever they want now. Well, that's kind of what I'm referring to. I don't think the government could just. Yeah, they have to go okay. to court. Like, how are you going to take control of a yeah, parent's It has decision? to go to court. I, I, Unless they're criminally violating a current law. I, I still feel like as a parent, you should have a good reason. But is it this a slippery slope? It, 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 is, it is, and that's why I want to stay away from it. This may save one child, and we should do everything we can to save that one child. But if it's going to kill thousands more, I mean. Tell that child. I no, think, I don't. I think it's like, a slippery slope, Jamie, and you know it. Most parents are going to save their kids by any cost. That, you know? So, so this. But the, if you think, but listen, that, well, Jamie, think, okay, but these are religious. Let's let's assume because it's not stated. Let's assume this is religious purposes. You know how strong a religious belief is, right? Yeah. This is religious belief that you should not vaccine. So this is a honest question I have uh, related to this. Where is the grandparents at in this? Doesn't say because by. In, my response would be, so if my in-laws were, you're taking your kids, getting the surgery done, the court could award custody of my kids to the uh, to the grandparents. And yeah, in-laws? J- the just uh, well, somebody asked this earlier. Grandparents. New yeah, Zealand, they're, they're the kids' yeah. grandparents. Hold on. Someone asked this earlier. The New Zealand Blood Service said blood was not divided whether donors were vaccinated. So you do not know whether you're Why can't the parents just get their own blood and, and it's in the cell? This is a great point. Why the, yeah. Why but let's the assume doctor? that it can't happen. Why don't the doctor just come in and got nice blood straight? It ain't ain't got no vaccine and give it to him. So because they'll be sued. No, because how are you gonna prove it? But you can prove it. You can prove it. You can prove it. You'll you can actually prove, prove it. it. You'll be able to prove it. But it, look, we didn't come to resolution here. As a matter of fact, we were split no. down the middle, if you will. We we were. Me and Donnie were on one side, and you guys. You're done in monsters. But, but I'm gonna ask you this question: Y'all would for, kill your kid. That's all no, we learned. Yeah, no, right. Who has the best interest for your child? There you know, for their health and stuff, the government or you? Oh, I know it's big. Okay, then. So why are you giving it to the government? Even if, so you're not going to agree. So, so. You're not going to agree with every parent's decision on everything for their, okay. do you, do you allow them to take control of everything that other people don't agree with? No, and do it to but, child? but so many times we, we find parents unfit. We, we award the kids. Uh, it's pull- a different situation. All right, I'm going to state it mm. slightly different. Okay. Go for it. Things are not necessarily black and white in life. We like to nope. think they are. They're we like not. to think they're black and white, but they're not. But we also have to use logic, which we don't don't have today. Logic has to be applied to all situations. And when we look at something and someone's not approaching this logical, because to me, you know what? If I can get five years from doing this, okay, that's five more years. Successful well, five years people now, live in the gray, not the black the and the white. That, they live in that's the gray. gray. I think we're also missing some information. Is this child terminal it's gonna happen regardless yeah, if they if they do yeah. not but yeah. all right so so if it's not terminal 
I'm just going. No, if it's I, not terminal, that we're talking about two different. Yeah. It, now, if it's terminal, terminal, you know, as a parent. Now, the vaccine decision, like these, I think these people are idiots. But so we're going to leave this here. Look, this was a great discussion, but I got a couple more topics. Jeffrey Epstein, we mentioned Epstein Island, right? His estate reaches $105 million settlement with the U.S. Virgin Island. What's why, the settlement for? Why, how does his estate have $105 million? Because uh, he's rich? No, he really wasn't. Have you not seen? You haven't seen the Netflix documentary. No, I haven't. I, I, look, I tried to watch it. I, I could. But he really basically stole this money, right? But now there was there's some other. But he, how did he steal money? I thought he was like a producer of some sort. Oh, he didn't do no, anything. No. He was like FTX. Yeah. Oh, or worse. Oh, okay. So he was yeah. a money yeah. He wasn't worse. Look, come well, Thursday, we're going to have okay, a lot he more was to worse. talk about. He was worse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to say he was worse than FTX. Okay. FTX. I don't know about worse. <laughs> but yeah, FTX. No, no, worse. I'm going to take. But Finan- here's the deal. Financially wise, he wasn't worse. FTX. <laughs> evil wise, evil. yes, he was. FTX is still walking the earth and not in jail. And that tells you how he's connected. Well, yeah, he's connected. I mean, we we all know that that they, I mean, the facts are America sent money to Ukraine. Ukraine put money into FTX. FTX uh, FTX donated a lot of money to that de- de- Democrat second most yes. ever. So, and then they go under for you know fraud and but the U.S. Virgin Islands announced Wednesday that it reached a settlement of more than one hundred and five million in a sex trafficking case against the estate <laughs> of Jeffrey. Sorry. I think it's kind of funny that there's a sex trafficking case and it's attached to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of, yeah, that's, that's, that's terrible. like circumstantial right there. You probably get more business if you're the U.S. Virgin Islands. <laughs> it's kind of wild. I mean, I mean, y'all know the number one uh, cause for uh, pedophilia, right? No. Money. Se- sexy children. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a bad joke. That's terrible. All right. All right. That's terrible, James. Well, anyway, please, so they took bad. a settlement. Did you hear about... Hold on, I got another topic. Did you hear? He's in. Just sit, but just let, sit, look, let's switch gears. Let's talk about the other Florida quarterback you guys were talking about. Oh yeah, yeah that, well that, the, that almost, almost Florida quarterback. Yeah, he was one of the most highly. Recruited. I hope Arkansas. I hope Arkansas goes after him now. So, so from my understanding, he said a a uh, racially he charged said the word, word in a song, in a song because it was part of the song. Yes, and he was uh, singing. He was singing it, so um, I. You know what? I feel like uh, the N word should be pulled from all songs. Well, I feel like this: if if it's going to be in the song, you can't get uh, pissed off because the guy's singing it. Exactly. He so enjoys just the to song. Sum up the story. But I mean, top QB recruit loses scholarship. Four after, star. He's a four star. After posting video saying N word in a rap song, so he was not using the N word derogatory toward anyone. He was simply singing along with a song. Are we really to that point? And to top it off, he made an apology. So, so are we going after the rapper that actually no. said? The oh word? no, it's okay if you're if you're of that. No, no, it, it that that's a double standard. That's what that's the it's definition of a double. It's called racism. it's racism. It, is it's what no it is. double standard. It's a standard, and the standard is racism. It, yeah, I mean, it, that's the thing. If it's, the N word is bad, look, I if want the you N-word to go bad, listen. It's bad for everybody. There was. I, I should play it, but it was Candace Owens talking about this situation, who is an amazing African American woman. Beautiful lady, too. Not just I beautiful. hate that term. Beautiful lady? What, African no, African American, I hate that. Well, no, she's. What's you know, the right word? Black. American? Okay. Anyway, We're all American. Yeah, she I mean, talks about a, black American. And, she, and even if you weren't born in another country, you may be born in Spain. If you become word, an American citizen, you're an American. If this word is bad, though, should it not be bad for everyone? And yes. why can we celebrate this in a song? And this guy simply sang along with the song. He, his life's been altered because of it. And you know what? He, she made this point. She said, go back and look at any, any African-American on their social media in college football and see how many of them are using the N-word. Well, I, his family should sue the University of Florida. No, he can't because it's. It, I don't can. think you can't can Why? sue them. Why can he not? Well, they didn't give him any money or anything like that. They just offered him a scholarship. No, but they denied him money. The fact he's now a public figure because of this. I don't think they he can sue him because they. they oh, I think he can. I don't think I was, he can. But you can sue for anything, Scott. You can't. You, Boy, Scott is controversial. I'm controversial. Yeah, I like controversial. This, you are really. I, con- I, I just want to argue now. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's he's all go. hyped up on Lynn Jefferson. He's there. actually supporting the college for taking this dude's scholarship. I'm not, I'm not supporting yes, him. I are. just don't yeah. think they can. Oh, I don't no, think he, he gets sued. Babies, he wants to uh, 
He wants to kill just, babies. Destroy people. He wants lives. to destroy people's lives. I, I am a follower of personal liberties and uh, people who are having the right to do what they have the okay, right to do. Okay, but is that not counter to kill what we're just talking about? Argument. So hold on. So look now, and look, I would teach my son now. Say you don't do that, okay? And he, he loves rap music. Well, I he love rap. I love rap. I, I, I teach my son how to <laughs> crip walk. I, I think I think the N word should be banned, just like the F word. So let me ask you another question. Now. I'm gonna use dark Twitch. F word ain't banned. What are you talking about? It should be. <laughs> oh, should whoa! Be. Yeah, when are we ban look, it? What the look? Yeah. I mean, it, it should look, be censored at the at, at Jamie's workplace. Probably F word means many things. It's a verb, an adjective, and it's a all noun. Kind of all it's a noun. Time. Probably right. For it, it's a pronoun too. Look, it's Has hardly it, ever a verb. The F word's my pronoun now. <laughs> hardly, hardly ever. Hardly that ever. Ne- it, it, never, it, it doesn't uh, mean never. Uh, but still, I mean, look, our world that we live in today is that so was a smart stupid. joke, wasn't it? It was good. It was good. <laughs> Take a, but you know, if they didn't pick up on it, mm. yeah, because yeah. they on the, they on the other side tonight, Fort Bear. Yeah, they exactly. on the opposite. Oh, baby killers. We on the baby right. Killers. We on the there. right. Mm. All right, let me see what other topics I got for this. This is a decision. Mm. And also, living your life is a decision, too. Yes, the four months I was alive. But, you know, I listened to a lady today on uh, it was Bon Gino, I think. I was, I, you I know, like, I seldom listen to Bon Gino. I like Bon Gino. Oh, he, I like him. but I, I do, but he was talking to some lady that came from communist China. Is that like Bon Gino? Are you sure that wasn't uh, Joe Rogan? No, it was on Bon Gino because it was on the radio. I don't hear oh, John. I'm gonna play that. Jamie, do you know who Bon Gino is? But uh, the la- the lady said that uh, yeah, he's like a shot to the yeah, heart. Dan Bon Gino. You, you give you up your two veins. John, John Bon Gino. You Dan. kill four your my you, children. The lady said you you give up the liberties to your government. You're probably gonna die to get them back. Fairness, if you die, you won't get them back. Yeah, you will be free from this world. <laughs> Boom. All right, I'm gonna play something here in a second. I want to play this from Joe Rogan. Kind of. <laughs> Joe's on point, though. There's an expression that I've said on this podcast is. many oh, times. Oh, it sounds like we're sitting again, with Joe Rogan. Is that hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft hard times man. create soft men. Hard men. Soft men create hard times. <sighs> we are now around soft men and hard times. Yeah. We're, yep. we're in the time of toxic masculinity, right? <laughs> Where you could be toxically male. <laughs> and then if you're if you're suppressing masculinity, worst interview you're, ever. You're going to bring on hard times. Listen, listen. You're going. You, there's. It doesn't mean masculinity doesn't mean you're mean. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're angry. It means why does strength. this chick sound it like she's in a porno? Dis- discipline. Listen, that's exactly it means what she's the ability. Like, like you need a military, and if you yeah. don't think you need, you need yeah. a military, yeah. you need to go and pay attention to the rest of the world because there's militaries all over the world that are doing horrific things. If you don't have a military That's in this country that can combat the that podcast. and at least act as a deterrent to them doing things, you're going to get taken over. That's what's happened. I mean, look what's happening to Hong Kong, mm-hmm. right? I mean, this is a, a city that essentially doesn't have a military, and they were a British colony for a long time, and they gave it back over to China, and they, they were kind of up. acting like no, they were they did not. independent they until recently, yeah. and during the pandemic, they ramped it up, and it's gotten even worse. Oh, my gosh. It's exactly what we talked about. Mm-hmm. You, can't, <laughs> look, you can't be weak. No, listen, like, listen. No, listen to the rest. In this country, being weak is thought of as a virtue. Yeah. Jordan Peterson has a really interesting way of looking at this, and he oh, said it to me once, and it, it made a lot of sense. He said, this is people think that you should be weak, and you should be docile, and then you, you, you should be a pacifist. He goes, no, yeah. you should be a monster. <laughs> he said, you should be a monster, you should be ruthlessly ambitious, and then learn how to control it. Hell yeah. Mm. And it's that old expression. It's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Dude, I think I think hold on, hold on, hot. it's an old expression, but it makes sense because it doesn't mean that you can't be kind if you're strong, but it does mean you can't be strong if you're weak. And there's a lot of weak people in this country right now that are trying to take control. And they're gathering up all the other weak people and they say, yeah, let's all be weak together. Yeah. And they're willing to <laughs> embrace all sorts of ideas that have been disproven, not just disproven, that have caused the deaths of untold millions of people yeah. in Maoist China and Stalinist Russia. And it's crazy. And yeah. they, they're short sighted and they're short sighted because in the short term, they want their tribe to win, and there's so many weak people that'll join along with them. There's so many 
this simple minded dullards that just want to He's promote to a simple minded right now. Yeah. <coughs> I mean they encourage you to be triggered. Yeah. They encourage you to be weak, right? Okay. So look, I played that. <laughs> I'm so, sorry. I guess no, that is great. Okay. I guess that is. Anybody who listens to Joe Rogan knows he never <laughs> goes that long. I played that because his words were strong. Yes. Okay. His words are. are I don't the, know. the point he's making is completely <laughs> true. And it is. Oh, it so is. It, it is. goes along with what I said. To the yeah. I mean, you have a generation of extremely mm. strong men that go out and do things. They fight. They make a. They're getting older now, though. But they make they're a grown. Well, there there is still another group of strong men. They're just not. As vocal. It's, it's, it no, it's, not that. it's there, different. Not as many right? of them. Things are changing too. It's it's. Everything's Dude, we're we are so far removed from Vietnam veterans and uh, World War Two and Korea, and, but we have the veterans of uh, Kuwait. But there's so few of them. Military has thinned down to what it used to be. It, it is not a, a if someone graduates high school and goes to the military, it's not looked at as a normal progression of life. It's Man. looked at oh, you had no other choice but go to the military. You, know, yeah. you and still it should be treated. You still you couldn't swing a dead cat without hitting a veteran. Now, well, Donnie Donnie is. why are you swinging dead cats? I was almost a veteran. My father was a veteran. Yeah. But I have no uncles that were veterans. My, both my grandfathers were. So I don't think my grandfathers were. So yeah, Ed, that, Now, that's kind of surprising. That's surprising. Now, my grandfather was. My grandfather. Red. Was, so. Yeah. Hey, cool dude. Yeah. Cool yeah. Dude. I don't know if all y'all know. Was, uh, cool dude. Papa was awesome. Was uh, Bernard a. a what was your grandpa's name? Red. No, Tom Donnie. Was he? He was a veteran. Uh, <laughs> Joe Rogan here is talking about weak. We are he weak. Is. In we America. are. We are. Look, we laughed because it's hilarious that we're hearing this background vocal of the. Yeah. That uh, just, that's, I don't it's know perfect. How that hasn't okay. Gone but, but still, he makes a damn good point, and that's where he's not played it. So that's an old, like. It's a year and a half. So what he. No, what he pulls hey, it. Awesome. What he pulls it from those are old sound bites. Like it's not something brand new that but somebody they released it just yeah. the other day. But it's still he, he said it before. Uh, I've heard a Jordan Peterson say it before. Are weak, and look, this is a great example. They said what you'd rather be a warrior that work that's working in a garden than a gardener going to war. So so what to say it, to say Americans are weak is not right. And it, and no, but and it's because I look. I trained some of them. Like I've been there with some. Yeah, America. but you're changing twelve. You know how many people are in America right now? No, we're. But I'm training. I'm training twelve out of, out of, thousands of men that are literally the tip of the spear for America. In the they south, are, I, but how about they California? are? They are some Donnie. of the hardest dudes. I agree that, with Donnie. I, I, that ten thousand, twelve thousand, fifteen thousand dudes equals. <laughs> Golly, no telling how many regular but I agree with fighters. Donnie. All right, all right, hold you're on. You're looking though. at you're looking I'm at the extremes. Sure you're I, looking at extremes. But just let's let's take a ride around this subdivision right here. Yeah, but we're in the south. We're in the south. I think we all it's agree different. the south is strong. The 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 Midwest. I mean, man, you don't all right, know. So, China, so are how they much? Gonna land in, in Ohio. Well, so they're, look, they're not going to land in Arkansas. Either. They're going to land. In- I don't think that. <sighs> Honestly, man, I think we've all be, we've all bought into some of the media hype. I agree. I think we've all bought into it. I don't think if we were weak, we'd have other people from other countries on our shores just, just, taking us. If over. you if you said we're morally weak, I would agree. We're morally weak. Yes. Yeah. But if you say no, I, okay, I, I, military people going into military is an all time low. It, they did not is. meet a quota, right? Our, our military think, is so refined. Our, look, if you were to look at the West Coast, the entire West Coast, which is most likely where we would have Dude, an attack. That's yeah, not true. Yeah, the, the entire West the, Coast is yeah. not weak. The it's North, not Northern, weak. Northern California and, is, North, and is Oregon. Us. Okay, but do you think they're going to land in Northern California? No, but if they, not, land, if they land in, what? I mean, first of all, they land Oregon? in Oregon. That's okay. not, that's not the way it's going to happen here. Yeah. But they, if they land in L.A., first of all, they're going to have to deal with the uh, gangbangers. If they all land in Seattle, they'll get high. Do you think they're tough, though? Do you think gangbangers are tough? No. Yes. But no, they can slow them oh. down. Listen, even the gangbangers, they don't care about them dudes. They're they going to the kill money. them dead. They, they all, yeah. yeah, but, but, but they're going to kill your family. They're going to screw up your drug trade, all these things. You think you're going to help them? 
All right, all right, Donnie. You're talking about thousands of people being hard, and and oh, I agree, thousands, I, upon, thousands upon, thousands. upon thousands. But I'm talking about millions upon millions of boys that are going to play soccer and getting a trophy for showing up every day. Yeah, and and, not, and also getting fruit snacks. And it's water. not the same thing. That's what they get. Because you want to tell, you want me to tell you a little secret when you, you play pee wee basketball back in 1989 ish. You got a trophy. We you wasn't hooping, bro. Y'all did. Everybody got a trophy. I got a bro. trophy we when did. I was winning. Everybody got a trophy. I got a trophy when I won. Uh, go to parking, dude. <laughs> parking ain't normal. But uh, yeah, go to parking. Dude. I don't know what Earl did, but at parking you can get shit. And, and <clears throat> look, man, America is is not weak. There's a media perception that everyone's bought into. Um, there are there are weak. There's a lot of weak. But we're also from an area of the country that we understand the man that wakes up. Before it's daylight, goes out and works until it's dark again, right? A lot of people, and we are teaching children that's not that's not the way of life. No, we're also teaching children right now the the way of life is victimology. That's what you're teaching your children. No, that's what America is. So when you it's say about we, though, being victimized, if you don't think that that's the narrative right now, who is the victim in this right country? Now? You're wrong. I'll tell you a story. There are, there I'll tell you a soft, story. Listen, there are soft men in our military. But if you don't think that the hardest of the harder out well, there, man, you're, oh, you can't lay hands on women. No, there are plenty of pe- uh, people that hold to the principle, right? That because, hold to the because status Because you have parents quo. that still hold to principles. Yes, because they're... I don't disagree with you, Gary, but I think you're looking at it from the extreme part and not the, the right. average. I think, though, I, I, think I, th- I don't you think... You want to kill four ner- months old. I don't worry about you. Go, I, don't, I don't think you can take for granted that every person in the U.S. will fight for their rights right now no but that's uh, any, hey, that's anywhere look at it this way antifa fights like them or not they antifa do, but they, fights. they fight yeah, but for what they believe in they're yeah. different but but, but, but they don't saying, have the same but, belief system but, that's, but that's he's because, right they fight don't tell you something so, that's because someone's paying them but okay they fight but we also now are arguing about people who claim you're not using the correct pronoun is the same as killing me yeah. America, America, scrimp, America. Just listen to these words, because look, every one of us should be a little bit of an outlaw, okay? If we're following what the man says, you need to think about it a little bit. But get out and do what you know is right, not what you think is right. Lead me, lead me, and I'd mother Christ. Cause somebody done took from an outlaw. Take my picture down from the courthouse wall. I'm living in the clouds and I ain't gonna fall. Somebody done save this. Hello.